What's the pettiest reason you won't date someone over? I broke up with a guy because he ate all of my corn dogs. I was working a 12 hour shift. He refused to get a job and all through my shift I was just excited that I could go home and eat a corn dog. That mf and his friends ate all 24 corn dogs within the 12 hours while I was working. They had previously done this with my degonios and lunch meat, but this was on another level. Don't mess with my corn dogs. Over corn dogs. I would have broken it off over not getting a job. I was young with self esteem issues. Looking back I I should have left him long before the corn dogs. No regrets though, my mom still refers to it as the corn dog. Incident lol. Overly active on social media. I was in a hotel with my ex, and we were brunching, and the brunch was very expensive, but it was all you can eat. As we finished she stooped up, and got the most delicious food from the buffet again, even a french toast specially cooked for her with chocolate on it. Then she got coffee and orange juice, a few chopped fruits, and made a photo of it to post it on snapchat and instagram. Then she stood up, and said she is ready to go, I couldn't believe it. What did you say to her? I once started texting a guy from Tinder who seemed okay at first he was quite good looking, he definitely took care of himself. Every time he'd pop up on text to say hi, he'd send a selfie of himself along with it. At first I replied oh haha did you mean to send that? And he said yes, like what you see. So I kind of uncomfortably said yeah he's good looking. Then it happened like 2 or 3 times again, so I just stopped texting him. Was his name Gaston? No one posts selfies like Gaston. When she said I don't do computers. God that infuriates me. I work as a tech support for a major bank and I get people who call in all the time for minor issues and are proud to be computer illiterate. Look it's 2017. I understand that for some older people computers can and are pretty intimidating. But if you under the age of 30 and are still computer illiterate then you fall into one of two scenarios. 1. You're a moron. Or 2. You're commie some shit. The worst bit is when you're explaining simple, very simple instructions and they cut you off and say that. My ideal response would be, how about you shut the fk up and try. You lazy ignorant and usually self-entitled ass, which usually gets translated to I'll send you a guide to follow. There was one who told me I was cutting green peppers the wrong way. I was doing it a way that Gordon Ramsay does it, but with fewer steps. He cuts the entire top off, then the entire bottom, while I cut a side off, then another side so it trims closer to the stem, while keeping the core intact, so you don't have to pick seeds out of it. What she didn't like was the fact that I cut long strips from the sides, then rotated them and diced them. I was making my own recipe that required pieces of a specific size. I let her cut a pepper just to see what she thought was right and she more or less butchered the entire thing. We went our separate ways a week later. This one is actually hilarious to me. Of all the petty things to choose from, you both went with the smith Fryker can't cut a freaking bell pepper. It's like next level pettiness from both of you. But for real though, glad you got rid of her. She obviously couldn't cut it. She also didn't think dinosaurs ever existed. I broke up with a girl because she spelled a word so incorrectly that I couldn't look at her the same any longer and it ruined how I felt about her. We were texting each other during the day about the plans we had to go out for the night and it went something like this. Me hey are we still on for tonight? Her yes. I'm excited. Do you need me to bring anything? Me no I have everything we'll need. Don't worry about it. Colon close bracket. Her okay cool. I've already picked out my outfit. Me your what? Her my outfit. For tonight. I tried to pick something you'd like. She was trying to freaking say outfit. Outfit freaking outfit. Outfit. I know it's petty, but I just honestly got so weirded out and it sincerely changed my opinion and view of her enough to the point where I just couldn't stop thinking about it whenever we were together. We were only together for about 3 months, which isn't any less douchy of me, but yeah. I did the same with a guy who texted we might as well, instead of might as well. It wasn't the only reason I broke it off, but her spelling was so bad. On the download equals on the download. It's supposed equals it's supposed. Whether or not equals whether or not. I couldn't do that badly if I tried. 
Seinfeld has the pettiest reasons for not dating people. For having man hands. For eating peas one pea at a time. For wearing the same dress every day. For being a low talker. For shine during a TV show. For saying that's funny instead of laughing. That's so funny. Went on a date to Buffalo Wild Wings. She ordered 20 wings. She ate maybe 7 of them. When it came time to pay, she didn't offer, I was gladly going to pay, nor did she want a doggy bag. Seeing all of that food go to waste was a deal breaker. It might seem petty to most people, but I think it says a lot about a person who is so willingly wasteful. Spoiled and selfish imho. Agreed. It wouldn't have bothered me if she said anything about it. But when I asked if she wanted a box, her exact response was nah. I'm not thrilled with people who are video game purists shun casual gamers, me. I don't mind if you're really into video games or play them more often or more seriously than I do, but it's just obnoxious when they brag about it and treat me as though I'm lesser because I prefer some light Mario over Dark Souls. If you haven't unlocked all the characters in Mario Party 7, you're just not worth my time. Had a friend try and date this girl. He said he was going to Canada for a wedding. Her response? I wouldn't want to go because I'd have to learn Chinese. He said that he blankly stared at her and finished his meal. Ha. Huh. Was the wedding in the Vancouver area. Slash s. Too many dietary restrictions slash being a picky eater. It's shallow, but I find it considerably easier being with someone who is able and open to eating a wide variety of food. What if they don't like ice cream and chocolate which means you never have someone stealing yours from the fridge? I like vegans because they can't eat my corn dogs while I'm at work. Broke up with a guy because the way he ate salad made me uncomfortable. He was pretty much attacking it, chewing with a lot of fervor and watching me while he ate. Just giving you a taste of what he would do to your lettuce. He had bad breath. I dated a girl for a while whose breath always seemed a little off. I told her about it and she had been oblivious to it the whole time. After her initial reaction of being mortified, she went and saw a specialist. Turned out she had a few nasal polyps that could have turned really nasty. You never know. A good example of why it's important to break the taboo of not telling people about uncomfortable physical problems. They might not be aware of. Can't spell. You paid for something, not paid. My husband has trouble with spelling some words, but he has a great vocabulary. Dyslexia is a bish sometimes, like when we are playing Scrabble. I went on a couple of dates with a guy who was so afraid of fish touching his legs that he refused to get in any water other than a chlorinated pool. Probably not a deal breaker for most people, but I'm an aquatic ecologist and my job at the time, right out of college, was to organize stream cleanup events. I couldn't see myself dating someone who was afraid of fish. I have an irrational fear of fish. They fascinate me, and I love looking at them, but put me in water and I flip out. Funnily enough, it doesn't apply to sharks. Goldfish, terrifying. Sharks, A. Eh? Chewing your food with your mouth open. Instant no go. Walked out of a date once. The girl was chewing like a goddamn barn animal. She was also being a horrid bitch to our server. I recently discovered that one of my friends is an absolute idiot towards wait staff. She refused to tip a waitress because the waitress forgot to bring her a cup of ranch and the waitress brought her the wrong beverage. My friend had been incredibly unclear about what beverage she wanted and only decided on beverage B after the waitress had already clearly told her that she was going to bring out beverage A. Her logic was they make minimum wage at this restaurant, not server wage. I'm seriously reconsidering hanging out with her anymore. I have stopped associating with people who treat servers or cashiers like crap. I was a cashier in college. My fiancé was a server. Maybe it makes me judgmental, but if you treat people like crap then go frick yourself. Cheers. If they smoke weed. Don't know why you're getting downvoted for this. It's not even a petty reason. I smoke weed, and I understand it might not even be because you're judgmental it's just a preference. I wouldn't want to be with a partner who goes out every weekend and gets hammered in pubs and clubs just because I don't want to be a part of that lifestyle.
I also wouldn't want to have to worry about whether there are drugs in my car slash house because this person might have dropped it or stashed it. I can't date a person who has kids, and believe me I've tried. I just don't like kids very much, and I really have no idea how to interact with them. Not only that, the drama that comes from the other parent is usually beyond reason. Not bashing any of you single parents out there of course, find love however you can. Luckily, my lady and I are child free and content with that. Future advice for interacting with kids treat them like miniature wasted adults. That's actually pretty brilliant advice. Thank you. She said the word sassy far too many times within one day. She saw the book every day as an atheist holiday in my car and decided to start attempting to save me. She liked horses. She carried a pistol and kept reminding me of it on the first date. She would only have sex in the shower because it was cleaner. She was too afraid to try things in video games because her character could die. For instance, trying to solve puzzles in certain games consisted of just staring at the screen for hours until she could solve it without trial and error. Watching her play Limbo was a test of patience that I have never experienced before. Horse chicks are crazy. Smoking makes people taste of ash, it's disgusting. Apart from the health risks it's just damn annoying. You're out with them and get left alone constantly on cigarette breaks. You're en route somewhere and have to stop outside the destination, probably in the cold, so they can finish their cigarette. You're traveling via plane and have to wait before check-in for them outside to have one last cigarette or go to the manky smoking area after security. Then once you land you have to wait for them to have a bloody cigarette outside, probably in the cold, before going to your hotel or whatever. I'm definitely not anti-smoking and occasionally enjoy the odd social smoke myself, but hanging around with slash dating actual smokers and their inconvenient cigarette breaks is so annoying. No books. No books. Don't frick them. Been on the receiving end of this with a twist. I read a lot, I have a library of some 8500 books, but they're all on my old nook. I used to have a few hundred books packed into shelves, but space became a major issue at one point, so I sold them all, except a small box of ones I couldn't part with, and moved over to ebooks. I don't see the issue, but some people do. One lady saw my book less apartment, and made the point that, this wasn't going to work, because she doesn't date people who don't read. I told her about my move to Ebux, and she absolutely lost her crap over it. Something about how that's not really reading, and I probably dodged a bullet, but, at the time, that really hurt, and left a lasting impression. Dated a girl with lactose intolerance and various other food related allergies. No peanuts wasn't a huge deal, but no pizza was too much. That and she lived forever away, and was super busy. I felt like I was dragging her down like the final straw between graduation and failing a class. I blame the allergies to make myself feel better. I married a woman with quite possibly the worst lactose intolerance ever, and I get what you are saying, but I think you are missing the bigger picture here. Most places that serve pizza also serve other things, such as sandwiches. This means when you get pizza, not only do you have dibs on the entire pie, but more importantly her sandwich likely comes with fries. One of the biggest issues with Pizza Imo is its lack of side options. I mean come on breadsticks WTF, your pizza without cheese. Now you get to eat all the pizza you want, steal a few fries, and unless you kill the entire pie, you now have meals for another day or two depending on size of said pie. Win bloody win. 